Well, it's uh, Tuesday morning, about 9.45. A hearty buttermilk pancakes to start the day off. And some coffee in a glass. Ah, boo-boo. How you doing, boo-boo? You big boo. Well, we're at the patch. I brought the Mumbles man to the patch today. He's got a CTX with a six inch coil. We're gonna see if we can find us some buttons. Well, it's a solid eight still out of the ground. At least it's out. No, it's an unfired 22. Bullet and casing. I think this I think this was trying to fool me. You hear the iron, I put it in all metals now. So it's, it's in all it's in all metals now. Discriminate. We got to investigate it. I'll get back to you. I presume it's a nail of some sort. And then I got it out and this was still in the hole. So it's two pieces of little iron. Yep, that's it. Just them little two taquitos. Well, the patch is being sort of like the land of Nada today. Very tight. I've dug that 22, three pieces of iron, and a two, which looked like iron, but apparently it's some kind of metal, not iron. Mumbles man, he's about uh, 200 yards to the right of me. I haven't seen him since we left. I've seen him dig a few things, but I don't know what that means. Stand by, I'll get back to you in a few minutes. I'm not expecting a button or anything, but at least it's a sound. I haven't had a sound in 20 minutes. Stand by. Relatively new 22. Well, I'm on the southern end of the patch now where the trees begin. I don't think this part belongs to Jack because, you know, he hadn't gone any further than right through here. We have hunted in there, but man, you talking about shotgun shells. Holy jumping Toledo. I'm going to turn around and go back the other way now. See if I can run up with a mumbles man. I 
got some iron there. Let's give it a try. That's a fine ticket. I guess it's a leg, lead shotgun shell. I mean, a slug, slug or something. You can see it's all banged up on the end. <laughs> Heavy too. Well, I'm about to catch up with the Mumbles man. I ain't seen him in two hours. But he's about 35, 40 feet in front of me. We'll see how he's doing in a minute or two. Hope he's doing better than me. I got a big bullet. I got I got some bullets. Yeah. Uh, you know the lead part. I yeah. got about four or five shotgun shell things. Uh, Patches like the Landonada today. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, it's hard. To, it's hard to walking in here, especially, especially over that way. Yeah. Slashings are you know. Yeah. It's really. Uh, yeah, and no cool. fun. I think my my biggest thing I got was this. Oh yeah. yeah it is. Modern, you know, stainless mm -hmm. steel. Yeah, yeah. You got another bolt and, and all that. I got some bolts and a few of those bolt looking things. Bolts and bolts. And uh, I got a big nut with a broke. Well, we're home. I just dropped the Mumbles man off. Got the truck unloaded. The CTX and the Knox both got skunked today at the button patch. That happens sometimes, I guess. Over there in that milk box, I'm supposed to have some knives. I had a lady call me as we were headed to the button patch. She said, I'm going to drop some knives off of your house, but nobody's home. I said, well, put them in that milk box. Ah, there they are. There's hope. I don't know what they are, but we'll take a look at them in a few minutes. We may, we well, there are the knives. What they are. Got a family of these. Got a hinkle. Two man hinkle. Some Chinese. And some off the wall ones. A few nails, a big looking bullet thing. Come on, come on. Up 22, which you saw, up 22 bullet. And this is the only cool thing I found. I don't even know what it is. It looks like copper. I straightened it out, it was bent in half. And then I got this little doodad thing. This looks like the same thing, but smaller. Might have to go to the bay tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm even going anywhere tomorrow. But I got a few knives to do. <laughs> 